It's the first day of June and it's time for another garden update. I think we'll just start on the straw bales. A few nights ago we had a storm roll through and it did some damage to our tomato plants in the straw bales. Didn't bother the ones in the ground, but if you look down here at the bottom, I've got some diatomaceous earth here to keep the critters off. This, the roots on this thing, it's just wobbly. It broke a lot of the roots. What I think I'm gonna do on this one, and this one over here, you can see the roots were pulled loose on that too, and some of them were broken. I think I'm just gonna pile some extra soil up around them and uh, hope for the best. These plants look okay, but I can tell that some of the roots were actually broken off. Then we have a little bit of damage to the roots on these shorter ones, but not as much. I'm just gonna keep an eye on those. I might put in a little extra soil around those too. But this one down here, it actually got broken off at the base. And what I did on it, uh, I just uh, stuck my finger down in the, in the soil and stuck the broken tomato plant back down in the soil and we'll see what happens. I've, I've done that before with suckers. I've started suckers just by sticking them down in the ground. And what I do is I'll just keep watering this uh, several times a day, three or four times a day, just to keep it as moist as possible. And you can see the roly-polies crawling around. That's one reason I've got the diatomaceous earth. And you can see where they've already chewed off uh, the leaves on this plant. They really go after any plant that's weakened or any plant that's newly sprouted. Next to the straw bales, I also have some plants and containers. Uh, that's a serendipity there. They're doing very well actually, the ones in the container. And that's a pink passion, just like the ones in the straw bale there. And then I have a little finger's egg plant and it's got a little weed activity in it I need to take care of. Then I have the odas in the straw bale. They're getting chewed up pretty good too. Once they get a little size on them, they, they won't bother them quite as much, but they're still in that really small stage. And the sweet potatoes at the base of the straw bales are really starting to grow, so they'll be really filling in soon. Then we have some albino bullnose over here. One of them's grown pretty well. Just like the odors are getting chewed up a little bit. But considering all the problems uh, some folks have had around the country with flooding and tornadoes and hail, we feel pretty fortunate uh, just to have a garden. Down here on the north end, our butterfly weed is starting to bloom. I'm anxious to see how the pollinators react to this. Then we have over here, we have some more butterfly weed. And I have a couple of common milkweed plants over here. The Dickinson pumpkins are starting to grow a little bit. The zinnias are starting to finally grow a little bit. Everything's reacting well to more sunshine. We've had a terrible growing month in May, just cloudy and rainy most of the time. Of course, a lot of folks around the country are dealing with the same thing. There's a pepper. Some of them are taking off now and some of them are kind of slow to react. There's that squash. And we have some pole beans back over in there. The onions, uh, we've been eating a few of those and they'll be disappearing slowly. There's the ginger plant. A couple of those are coming up. I've got some more planted over here that I planted a little later, so they'll be coming up soon, I'm sure. 
care plants are starting to grow a little bit. Then back here against the fence I have some sunflowers. I've had sunflowers just coming up everywhere so I just transplanted a few back here. I've also got some sweet potatoes to use as ground cover to kind of hold back the weed activity. Then our tomato plants in the ground are doing all right. They'll be taken off now that we get some sunshine. Then we have the hybrid peppers. I topped all of those. We have some more peppers over here. I won't go into all the names of them. I'll just do an update on those one of these days. Then I have a random iris come, that came up from seed. I stuck a few seeds in the ground out here and that one came up this year. That's all this year's growth. It's about maybe five inches tall. The eggplants are starting to grow. Then I have a very late couple of tomato plants growing there that I just planted seeds. I'll tell you more about those once they get going. There's a boxcar willy, white tomasole, got some cucumbers. I'm going to thin those to one in each spot. There's the desi squash. Just about everything is perking up now that we've got some sunshine going to be in the 80s instead of the 60s and 70s. There's that row of hybrid corn that's getting pretty close to knee high in a few places. Then I'll be sticking some seeds in the ground right there soon. I should have had that done but just been too busy. We've been doing a little remodeling and I've got a bunch of other stuff on my plate. Sunflowers looking good, except for this one. It's been chewed up by something, trying to get the critters under control. There's the Mexican sunflowers. They're doing well, too. That Cleopatra canna plant. And the pollinators are starting to show up on the sage. It's blooming now. The herbs back here are kind of going crazy. There's some pineapple sage there. The fennel's waist high now. Everything's really looking pretty good considering all it's been through. There's one random spinach that's going to seed. And the blackberry plant back here is just going to be loaded with blackberries. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit so you can see some of the berries. But it's looking pretty good. And the oregano is doing pretty well. It's kind of getting swallowed up with rhubarb and spinach and horseradish but at least uh, being close together like all these plants are, they'll kind of keep the weed activity at a minimum. Did a little chop and drop with the French sorrel tops. This one's kind of full on one side, not so much on the other side. Part of it got broken off in that windstorm. Seems like the stuff that was sticking up uh, got affected the worst. And there's that midnight fire pepper. It's getting a few little peppers on it. There's a, I think a hybrid came from a, the seed came from a black pearl pepper, but I think it might have got crossed with something because the foliage is green. New Mex Easter ornamental pepper and red garnet sweet potato is really growing well. I don't know how the harvest will be but we'll see in time and over here I've got sunflowers coming up everywhere still I still need to pull some but I will have a lot 
growing here and there. That's a Medusa, ornamental pepper, got a ping tongue, eggplants growing in that grow bag, some pur a purple flash ornamental. This is that mixed grow bag with the Molokai purple, the Okinawan purple, and the red garnet sweet potatoes in it. Let's see, poinsettia, ornamental pepper, and then I have four peppers that are growing in this grow bag. They're, they're not doing too well so far. Of course, all the peppers are kind of slow to grow considering our weather. Then we've got the explosive ember and that one. The hot pops purple, starting to get little tiny peppers on it. Then we got black pearl in that one. And that sweet potato in that grow bag is just some generic sweet potatoes unnamed that we got at the grocery store. This, this one's not doing so well. This one's taken off. And let's look at the banana trees. It's well over waist tall, getting close to chest tall on me. It's just doing really well. Got lots of pops, pups, pups coming up at the bottom. Then we have some pups coming up at the bottom of the Musa Velutina and they're growing pretty well. And the mother plant's starting to look a lot better. Now I stuck one over in, in, by the fennel plants and it's kind of getting swallowed up by the vegetation there, but it almost looks like it appreciates the shade. So it'll be interesting to compare how the two plants do in a couple of months. Some more sunflowers. I wanted to show the goji berry. I did a little video on how I transplanted it not too long ago, so I just wanted to show an update on it. It's a little bit over waist high. And I've been snipping the ends off where it'd be taller than that. You can see where I've topped it here and it has new growth starting in each leaf joint. That'll make the plant bushier in the long run. It's kind of going nuts with the growth. Better than last year, that's for sure. I think I appreciated the extra room. I've been keeping an eye on the bee hotels and so far we have zero activity on those, but really it's been so cold and wet. Haven't had many bees at all except for a few honeybees in the yard. I uh, didn't notice a few bumblebees. There's a look at the toilet with the petunias in it. We added some more flowers also to that. Don't know how they'll do. They might be a little crowded. We'll see how it works out. So far they're doing pretty good. They're starting to perk up a little now that we're getting a little sunshine. Let's go over here a little closer and let you see what they look like. I almost forgot to give an update on the tomato tree. I think I've decided where I'm going to put it permanently, but I just haven't got around to putting it there. We've got some little buds starting. But so far, it's doing pretty well. I expect these plants to grow up, and then once they start getting fruit on them, then they'll start hanging. Hopefully they won't break. Never tried doing this, so we'll see how it works out. Here's another odd flower container that we have. I know some of you are probably thinking, why waste a good minnow bucket on flowers? But that's the whole deal. This isn't a good minnow bucket. My sister-in-law, she was at an auction and it didn't sell because it's got a hole in the bottom. 
it's actually starting to come loose there too but that that's got kind of a gaping hole doesn't hold water so that actually works as pretty good drainage I just she asked me if I wanted wanted it and I said yeah I'll stick something in it so there you go we'll see how it looks later so far so good then for those of you who watch my other channel I plan to grow a few black swallowtail butterflies uh, so I'm planting parsley to feed them and it's just now coming up while I'm here there's one of the goji berries I started from seed and one more thing this is a fig it's a Chicago cold hardy fig and it has been just sitting there since I put it in this pot and that was in probably late April and for a while I thought it wasn't going to make it and it but now it's starting to get some new growth so I think it's going to be just fine it just didn't like all that cold wet weather every day with a little sunshine it's amazing how things can really start to grow and we'll just update on this a few times during the summer and see how it does that's a look at our garden be sure and let me know how your garden's doing and if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe otherwise like comment and share we'll see you next time